Hey guys, welcome back to the plumber's world. How are you guys doing today? It's Saturday, it's a weekend. Yes, so as you guys can see, I am going to be making a mini corn porridge. This is golden a mini corn. Yeah, see it up close. A mini corn. So normally I'll cook it like on the stove top. Today I'm not in the mood to be around the stove, so I'm gonna make it in my instant pot. Get some water in it. I've I have been soaking it, so yeah. Just gonna put some water in it so it can so I can get this cooking. We don't need a lot because these kids are not gonna drink this. They're not. So I'm gonna put it in my instant pot today. I won't be going around the stove. I'm not in the mood, I'm tired. So yes, let's get this cooking. So instant pot will make it cook faster so uh, why is it not coming on wait normally it would come on what's going on wait uh oh i know i need to press this there you go wait okay there you go so i'm going to put the lid on close it up and now I am going to put it on pressure cook for 15 minutes and sometimes I swear to God sometimes I don't even remember how to use this so it's on you guys can hear the beeping no not keep warm start let me see pressure level okay so in 15 minutes it's gonna be done and when it's done i'll show you guys what it looks like and i'll definitely show you guys how i make my amini corn porridge this is golden amini corn you can get it in a local supermarket yeah and i think i got it from a, a certain um brand but i know for sure it is other brand so on the wrapper, I did throw the wrapper. It's called Golden Amini Corn. So when this is done, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what it looks like and then we can start the process. Okay, so this is what the corn looks like when it's cooked. Um, it is soft. So I'm gonna, normally I'll finish it on the stove top, but I'm not doing that today. <laughs> Again, I'm not in the mood to be around the hot stove so now i'm gonna add the other ingredients so i put flour in mine people some people use cornmeal some people use oatmeal but i love to use flour so instead of me adding water to the flour because i already use water to cook the corn i'm gonna add some evaporated milk and i'm gonna whisk the flour out I'd rather use a whisker and this way it will be even smoother. Ooh. Ooh. And making a mess still. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the old thing of evaporated milk. Okay. I should have used a bigger bowl, but it's fine. And I'm gonna add some coconut milk. I'm gonna get a fork so I can get the flour from the bottom of the, the thing. You guys can see there's flour at the... I'm gonna rest this in here and look, get the flour from the bottom because the whisk is not being able to get it out. So let me just finish using the fork. I don't even think, I think I had too much flour. I don't want it to be too thick. And rest this right here. Uh, so, all right. All right, guys, so, I don't know. Maybe I did 
did use too much flour. It's fine. I'll use all of it. Let's pull this over. I'm going to whisk it together. So I'm going to add some nutmeg. I think I just was wasted my coconut milk because now I'm not going to use all of my flour. nutmeg i'm gonna add a tip a pinch of salt not too much that will do and some nice vanilla whisk it again and we are gonna have to allow the flour to cook i'm gonna go get some coconut um, some milk if it's too thick you can add milk I don't want to add any more water no more water we're gonna whisk that together let the flour cook for maybe like 10 15 minutes and then we're gonna see if it's ready so we can add our sweetener which is condensed milk so we'll be right back give this it's five not five oh. <laughs> 10 15 minutes and then yeah we'll be back okay guys so this is what it looks like after 10 15 minutes swing cooking it kind of stick at the bottom i knew it was gonna happen but it's fine so this is what it looks like i don't want it any thicker i don't want it any looser so this texture right here is perfect so okay i'm gonna add our condensed milk it was in the fridge <laughs> Jaden. jay Jaden, come here It's taking its own time coming out. So let me grab a spoon. Okay, <laughs> thank you, sir. So I'm just gonna spoon it out all of it. Yes, I'm using every single drop. And I'm gonna add a, um, a half, half cup of sugar, and I think that would be it. So give it a good stir, so everything can be come together. I think I'm the only one that's gonna drink this. Cause my kids ain't gonna drink any bye jay <laughs> yeah they're not gonna drink it it's fine i'll just make something else for them what Jaden? me whisking it's not whisking it's stir take your time please i think i'm gonna turn it off but we'll keep stirring it because the milk might be at the bottom of it I'm gonna turn it off guys because it's all done yes sir and that's a mini corn porridge again you can have this for breakfast you can have it for lunch you can even have it for dinner which i am gonna have for dinner today because i'm not in the food eating thing for dinner today so this is what i'm gonna have for my dinner i'm gonna have to make something else for the kids because they're not gonna eat it so anyways this is it for today thank you guys for watching um hope you guys subscribe to my channel turn that bell notification on and that will notify you guys when we're dropping a new video Please share and give us a big thumbs up.
we're gonna try to upload as much as I can but I'm working but I'm gonna try my best so this is it for today guys my mini corn porridge thank you guys so much remember to subscribe have a wonderful Saturday bye